Who was Rafael Urbino? Raffaello Sanzio da Urbino, known as Raphael, was an Italian painter and sculptor of the High Renaissance. His work is renowned for its lucidity of structure, simplicity of the piece, and visual accomplishment of the Neoplatonic human belief. A main figure of the High Renaissance, Raphael was an Italian painter, whose works lay in delineating humanity in incredible subtleties. He utilized a few mediums, for example, oil on canvas and paint on plaster. He created an enormous assemblage of work, in spite of his demise at the youthful age of 37. If you have enjoyed the video so far, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Let's know if you want more videos like this, by hitting the like button, now back to the video. 1. The School of Athens by Raphael Urbino. The School of Athens depicts all the best mathematicians and researchers gathered together sharing their thoughts and gaining insight from one another. Of course, these figures all lived in different times, yet here they are gathered together under one roof. The two philosophers in the middle, Aristotle, on the right, and Plato, on the left, have had a massive impact on Western culture. 2. The Marriage of the Virgin by Raphael Urbino. The Marriage of the Virgin, otherwise called Lo Sposalizio, is an oil painting by the Italian High Renaissance artist Raphael. Finished in 1504 for the Franciscan Church of San Francesco, Città di Castello, the painting portrays a marriage service of Mary and Joseph. It changed hands a few times before finally settling in the hands of Pinacoteca di Brera in 1806. 3. La Fornarina by Raphael Urbino. The portrait of a young woman, otherwise called La Fornarina, is a painting created somewhere in the range of 1518 and 1519. It's in the Galleria Nazionale d'Arte Antica in Palazzo Barberini, Rome. It's said that the painting was found in the painter's studio at time of his demise in 1520, and that it was altered and afterwards sold by his aide Giulio Romano. In the 16th century the painting was found in the place of the Countess of Santa Fiora, a Roman aristocrat, and then became the property of the Duke Bon Company, and afterwards came into Galleria Nazionale. The lady is generally regarded as a fornarina, pastry specialist, Margarita Ludi, Raphael's Roman sweetheart. She is depicted with an oriental-style cap and exposed upper body. She appears to be looking at someone possibly Raphael. 4. The Sistine Madonna by Raphael Urbino. The Sistine Madonna, likewise called the Madonna di San Sisto, is an oil painting authorized in 1512 by Pope Julius II to pay tribute to his late uncle, Pope Sixtus IV, and as an altarpiece for the Basilica Church of the Benedictine Monastery of San Sisto in Piacenza. This canvas was one of the last Madonnas painted by Raphael. Giorgio Vasari called it, a really uncommon and phenomenal work. The painting was later moved to Dresden and is notable for its impact in the German and Russian art scene. After World War II, it was migrated to Moscow for ten years, before being returned back to Germany. The painting portrays the two saints, Sixtus and Barbara. Legend has it that when Antonio da Correggio initially looked at the piece, he was roused to cry and say, and I likewise, I am a painter. 5. The Triumph of Galatea by Raphael Urbino. Galatea is encompassed by ocean animals and the structural design is similar to Michelangelo's works. Galatea rides a shell chariot drawn by two dolphins. At the left of the painting is a triton, partly man, partly fish, who appears to be grasping an ocean sprite. This painting was commissioned by Agostino Chiga, one of the richest men at that time. 